93 boxing i'm back with another video now lomachenko has beaten rigandale right it's been about nearly a week i've noticed that there's some racism going on now racism can flow from any race to any race it's not just from white people but in this case it is you know where white people is being racist you know because this is where I've been explaining this for a while, right? When Floyd Mayweather faced Manny Pacquiao, a lot of racist people supported Manny Pacquiao because they hated Floyd Mayweather for being black. Not everyone hated Floyd Mayweather was uh, simply because he was black, but a lot of people did. When he beat Pacquiao, they hopped off Pacquiao's dick and started riding Triple G, started riding, um, what's his name? Sergey Kovalev, Lomachenko, and you know, that doesn't mean that these guys are bad fighters. These guys just ends up being very overrated at times. Sergey Ko they're all good fighters, they're all. Now, Sergey Kovalev turns out to be a piece of shit who gets away with a lot of racist shit. And I'm not saying that no black fighter or a Hispanic fighter or other ra fighter from other races have said any... No, uh, racist things. I'm not saying that everyone's, you know, every people from every race have said racist things in the sport of boxing. Bernard Hopkins was like, I'll never lose to a white boy. Then he gets his ass knocked the fuck out from the ring. Out of the ring. He deserved that shit. But there's too many. Too many people. I'm, I didn't really notice this. It's mainly American fans who really hate. A lot of them hate black people. They do. Rigan Diaw lost. And I was watching Boxing Ego um, in one of his videos. And someone tagged him and Dante's Boxing Nation. And they just put a picture of a monkey. Or like some sort of animal like the chimpanzee monkey. I don't even know. To me it was like. That was fucked up. And there was some people saying. Oh so this is, this is a big deal. And he was trying to justify, like, how this is not a big deal. And he was saying that, oh, black people support their fighters all the time. And now all of a sudden, and, you know, he was saying Bernard Hopkins and all that. Look, man, Bernard Hopkins did what he did was wrong. No doubt in that. Was it racist? Yeah, of course he was racist. And look, I'm here saying this, that he was racist. And I was actually happy that he got knocked out. I was actually happy. But for you to go out there and do that to Rigandale, I don't see why. I, I mean, yeah, he quit. And I criticized him for quitting. But what's the point of the racism? Why are you justifying racism? This is 2017. Why are you putting a picture of a monkey to represent a black person? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, there's a lot of racism in the YTBC. More than I actually thought before starting a YouTube channel. And, you know, these racist people, whenever Triple G looks good against, whether it's a, against a good fighter or not, they're going to say Triple G's number one pound for pound. Even though Triple G has never moved up a weight division. He didn't beat Canelo. Let's be real, he didn't beat Canelo. Then you have Sergey Kovalev. Again, they were trying to ride on him like he's a monster. I'm glad Andrew knocked him the fuck out. And now they're pretending like, as if that was a low blow. Man, you must be a female virgin who's never seen a penis to say that that was a low blow. Because if you are a male or a female that's not a virgin and he's like, then you probably would know that a dick is not that high up in a man's body. Lomachenko has beaten Rigandale and you know, Lomachenko is top five pound for pound possibly, I would say yeah. But he's not number one. He's not better than Floyd Mayweather like people are pretending to. Dan Raphael trying to say he's better than Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Bob Arum's trying to say he's better than Muhammad Ali. And Floyd Mayweather and all everyone else. And they're saying, oh yeah, Floyd Mayweather ducked. He, you know, he, he fought all bums. All bums? If he fought all bums, why is Lomachenko for? Who has Lomachenko for? Why has he got a loss? Oh, Floyd Mayweather lost to Castillo. Oh, so you're going to hold that loss against Castillo that you think he lost. But you're not going to hold that loss against Salido to Lomachenko. Lomachenko would not beat Floyd. Full stop. At any, like, 
all the Floyd Mayweather's that we've seen would beat Lomachenko. He would beat Lomachenko. I didn't look at my last video. I actually gave credit to Lomachenko, and I think he's one of the best fighters out there. But he's not beating Floyd. Easy, easy. Floyd's beating him. Floyd's beating him very, 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 very easily. There's no, there's no ifs and buts about it. He beats, he beats Lomachenko. He stops Lomachenko. I mean, Lomachenko's a lot smaller, right? It's crazy. It's real crazy that people think he's better than Floyd Mayweather and Muhammad Ali and people like him. No. No. Why? Because he fought Rigandia who quit? Who, who didn't even want to fight? I mean, I gave Lomachenko for making two people quit. But remember this, right? Remember this. He has not fought top competition like Floyd Mayweather Jr. Stop saying that he fought bums. There's, a, there's too many people saying that Floyd Mayweather fought bums and he was scared of people. Who did he duck? Who did Floyd Mayweather duck? He fought everyone. He fought people that you probably thought had a chance. Ask yourself that. Don't tell, don't tell me that in the comment, but just ask yourself that. I don't want you to answer bull, like, I don't want you to lie. Because a lot of people might just lie. On their answers, if like, if they say, "Oh yeah, I I know, I always knew Floyd Mayweather would beat all of these guys," no, you didn't. I don't believe you. So you know th that needs to stop. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment down below. Ninety three boxing, I'm out. Ninety three.